with Dodok playing in Europe, Cork City would have gone back top of the Premier Division for 48 hours at least if they could avoid defeat at Drogheda and they created an early opportunity for Darren Dennehy. A fairly fizz past Michael Slingerman in the home goal. It would have been some score had it been on target. City manager John Caulfield had made a reference to the narrow pitch in the build-up to the game and the opening exchanges were tight, but City did manage to fashion a chance for Marco Sullivan, named as the player of the month for June, but his header was eventually cleared by the home defence after Slingerman's save. Cork kept up the pressure and after his early strike, Dennehy certainly had his shooting boots on. He picked up a pass from David O'Leary. Again, he shot from distance, but Slingerman was on hand with a terrific save. Two excellent strikes from Dennehy. Deserved a goal. Having weathered the early pressure, Drogheda then came into the game and their best chance of the half came when Shane Grimes got in around the back and set up a chance for Gavin Brennan. He saw his shot saved by Mark McNulty and then eventually cleared by the Cork City defence. Drogheda thought they had a chance of a penalty kick when Gavin Hulahan got past Colin Healy before going down under the challenge and diving into the area. However, referee Rob Rogers not impressed with the claims and waved play on. The danger wasn't over for City, however. The ball floated back into the area for Brennan, whose header was straight up McNulty and nil-nil at the break. Cork should really have gone ahead on 51 minutes. Good battling in the centre of the park by John Dunleavy to win the ball and then pick out substitute Liam Carney. He delivered the cross for Josh O'Shea, whose volley close in was thumped up and over the crossbar. A bad miss by O'Shea, he really should have hit the target. At the other end, Drogheda went even closer to breaking the deadlock with an initial interception by Brennan in midfield. Drogheda worked the ball out to the left-hand side and then back into the danger zone when it was laid into the path of Houlihan, whose drive rattled the crossbar. A thumping effort by the Drogheda number eight and oh so close to giving the home side the lead. For all that, Cork though won it on 81 minutes. A long ball by Darren Dennehy was the initial set-up play. It was worked into the path of Gary Buckley who wriggled free inside the area before gleefully thumping the ball past Slingerman. It turned out to be the winning goal nine minutes from time. Drogheda pushed hard for the equaliser but found Cork in no mood to surrender a record of seven consecutive clean sheets. Mark McNulty with a punch and when the ball was hoisted back in, the city keeper was clearly fouled. The referee ruled out the goal as City went back top of the league courtesy of this 1-0 win. Really important three points for us and typical Gary Buckley, he's got a lot of vital goals for us this season so we're very happy to go down the road. Bit of pressure on us every week, I keep saying, but these lads have done fantastic and um, look at this, another three points keeps us in there and you know, hopefully we can we can stay in there till the end of the season, that's what, we're, that's, that's what we're trying to do. thought defensively we were excellent the whole game but we invited them on for that period, we were too deep as a team. And um, when they got the, the goal, the winner, it was always going to be difficult. But listen, I was delighted with my team. I was delighted with our performance. There's no doubt I think we deserve something out of the game, if not to win it. But, um, you know, credit to Cork. That's where they are, where they are. They keep going.